Good morning, everyone. How are you? As the title suggests, yes. I'm going to paint a shovel. Hello, Sonia, Kelly, Billy. Good to see you guys. Um, this shovel is going to be used for a groundbreaking on December 2nd. So I got a very short window to do two complete paintings um, on the back side and then over around on the front. All right. Okay. Um, she wants a sunburst with some clouds on the back. On the front, she wants a sphinx. Okay, you know, the lion with the wings. Um, so I will do both of those. Uh, my last commission was the uh, yellow roses. Well, I put uh, polyurethane glaze on it and it did not take very well. Uh, it smeared a little bit and whatnot, so I have to wait for the polyurethane to dry and then I'll show everybody how you correct something um, disastrous. Okay, so I'll show you what to do when you when you mess up. So polyurethane and, and uh, acrylic with the glycerin, not good bedfellows. Uh, so I have to really wait for it to dry, so I'll give it a few days. Um, it's not due till the 28th, so it's okay. All right. We're going to really get on with this. Um, as you see, the colors is um, yellow ochre, titanium white, uh, lemon yellow, and uh, deep red there. Okay, don't really need too many colors for this because it's sun and clouds. I don't have to necessarily put a bright sky in there. But what I will do is um, I'll give us the sky at first a nice little transition the best I can. So I'll use the uh, yellow ochre and the lemon yellow uh, for that. I'll dip it in a little bit of white so it can be a little uh, more um, opaque. Okay, because I'm dealing with um, transparent colors. All right. So, hey, Madonna, how are you? So we're going to really get right on to this. Now, you're not going to see all of the shovel. I'm going to paint up. You won't see about an inch of it. You'll see here. And now about two inches of it. Um, but I'll paint like this part of the, the, um, the shaft part of the shovel and then do the rest and then we'll go on with the clouds and the sun and the sun rays. Uh, I'll use water and paint, not glycerin, because I, I really need this to dry. All right. So, and I am going to use epoxy for the, for the, uh, for the shovel. Um, that's going to be fun because I have to epoxy the one side, flip it over, do the painting and epoxy the other side. But I should be able to do it and do it in time. Okay, we're going to get right on uh, with this. And here we go. So I'll start off with the, the background sky first. And once again, I'll use um, a little bit of this ochre here. I'll put it right here and some of the yellow mix together, all right? And we'll dip a little bit of white in there. Brighten it up a little bit. And we'll pretty much fade some of this in. Now, you guys don't see me painting up here, up toward the top here, but I'll bring it down below shortly. I mean, because I'm not painting on a canvas, um, I may have to paint this twice when it dries, but we'll see. It all depends on the temperature of the room and whatnot, so. But we'll get it done. This is relatively, for me, fairly simple um, painting. Okay. Now, the, how I got it set up here is that I got... Um, Uh, duct tape. Duct tape is our friend. So we have duct tape taping the, the part, the top part of the, the shovel. So you'll see it wiggle, wiggle, but that's about it. It's not going anywhere. This is definitely a first for me to paint a shovel. You know, I've painted car doors and car trunks and did murals on those, but never a shovel. So this ought to be quite interesting. 
more yellow, a little yellow ochre, a little touch of white. Once again, just to make it a little more opaque. Okay. And we'll just paint it on down here. Like I say, I'm going to have to put more, like, more than likely a second coat on this, which is fine. That's fine. No water or anything's involved yet. It's just a pure paint and it will dry. All right, we'll bring it down. In setting this shovel up, I lost my light bulb of a few years. It still had plenty of life in it, but it fell and almost busted my computer screen. And uh, that would have been a travesty. Once again, relatively simple painting to do. And we'll get this um, sunlight brighter. We'll fade all of that in. A bit of yellow, a bit of white. A little more white. Brighten it up a little bit. And we'll work it downward. We'll smooth it all and blend it all so it will be okay. Bring it right down. Now, if a little bit of paint goes on the other part of the shovel, it's fine. Right down there. And you really just wait for it to dry. And you fade it again. And it will dry, dry relatively fast. Being that I'm not adding anything to it. It's starting to tack up already. Okay. And then once again, it's just a face, some clouds, in the sun. So it'll be kind of an Afrocentric thing. Um, the city wanted a black artist and one of the lady who I did the Christmas special for she contacted me and she, and she wanted me to do it so that was very nice for her to think of me um, for this like I say you guys don't see the top part here but I will once again I'll wait for it to dry and we'll do another coat and the important thing is to allow it to dry. All right, so it might look streaky and all that stuff, but once you put the second coat on, once it dries, you know, you ever do your thing. The sun will have a face in it, so I have to put a face in that sun. Okay. So, you know, we're open for questions. Anything you would like to ask me you know, while you have the time, because it's just a waiting game right now. So, you ask away, chat with me. If not, we're just going to sit there and look at each other and watch, literally, to watch paint dry. I don't think I need any of the other colors as of yet. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is as I'm, I'm going to wait for it to dry, I'm going to do the fading. Um, match the colors, brighten it up a little bit, probably up, up top a little more than down below. But there's going to be a series of clouds and stuff through here. <coughs> The sun in its face will be probably somewhere around around this area here. Okay. I'll just use my finger. I'll scratch it here. The sun will be around here somewhere. Okay. And then we'll put sun rays through it. It'll be clouds and whatnot. But the, the face, I figure, will be here. The eyes here with the, the nose here um we'll put the lips wrap around here the 
eyes will be will be uh, closed. Like around here, and then the forehead will be like up around in this area. Cheekbones are around in here, like that. Okay, so it's going to be something like that. It is metal. It's a shovel, <laughs> an actual shovel. You know, it's a groundbreaking shovel. You know, here where you put your foot. You know, so. But yeah, it's an actual shovel. And it's already been primed for me. <clears throat> so, yeah. So I am literally waiting for it to drop. Once again, it's getting tacky okay because it's pretty warm here in the room but it's good to see you guys I know I haven't been on here regularly as a matter of fact because I haven't been on I had lost my monetization so I have to work that back up all over again. Okay. Anybody have any questions? Questions, comments, statements, anything? Oh, somebody got to say something. And while you guys are hopefully typing something, I'm going to get some more yellow ochre here. I'm going to get back into... What I'm going to use is a softer brush so it won't produce as many streaks. And we're going to... Um, this. Use a softer brush, a little bit of light in there. Okay, and we'll tap on some color there. And basically what I'm doing is, there we go, get it to be a little solid. Just like that. And put it right in there. That's really the main purpose is to get it nice and solid there. Get the color nice and solid. If I go over the sketch I did, that's also fine. That's fine also. It's no big deal. It's all right. Because once again, a lot of this will be covered by clouds and such. So. So when you paint on metal, it's a different animal. This is a really soft, it's just a makeup brush, very soft brush. Okay. I won't go over where the sun will be, because it's going to be brighter anyway. Let's get a little more yellow. Touch of the ochre, a little bit, a little more white. Gonna brighten it up a little bit. Uh, down here, we'll brighten it up a little. It's just me, really, just laying down the paint. All right. And once I lay down the paint, I'll little circles there even it out a little bit so it doesn't look as rough no water just pure paint and I'll make it a little darker up front or up top up top here I'll bring some of that down and fade it together like that and we'll just stir that around a little bit just blend it be nice like that come up top here 
here. Do the same thing. I have plenty of paint on the brush. Soften it up a little bit. Stir it a little bit. Okay. I'll go up here with another um, another brush. Get in between there. Just regular acrylics on the shovel. And yes, the, if the shovel over already been pre-primed, yes. The person that gave me the shovel primed it herself. So yes, it was already primed and ready. I took rubbing alcohol and wiped it down. So yep, it's already, already prepared and ready. I took a smaller brush. What kind? Go up in here a little bit. Do I, do I necessarily have to go all up in here? Probably not, but I want to. Okay. And really, I got it. like that let's get some more white A little touch of the ochre I'll get this prepared, get it set a little bit. Even though there's a face in here in the sun, I'm gonna still get the, the sun shape around this. This is where having another TV monitor comes in because I can check it as I'm doing it. So we'll brighten that up a little bit. When you paint on metal, be prepared to do a second or a third coat. Okay. So just be ready for that. Once again, the face will be in here, so. All right. And we'll keep it just like that. <laughs> Clean up your brushes fairly well. Now, as I'm looking at my flower painting, it's just beyond. Uh, it's over here, but it's just beyond. It's laying flat. The polyurethane is starting to clear up because polyurethane is like a milky white. Um, it is. It's starting to clear up, and I see where I would need to repaint a few uh, sections of it, and I'll do it. It won't happen today. It will most likely be done early tomorrow. But that's okay. It's all right. All right. Once again, we just let it tack up. All right. And I'll sketch. The nose.
Okay, the face of being here. And once again, we'll the cheekbones are right around in, in this area here. Okay, let me just sketch it in real quick there. More of a placement thing, all right? Okay. Any more questions? Ask away because uh, we're just gonna sit here and watch paint dry. All right. But yeah, there's black primer all on the tip of the handle and uh, down below. On the other side behind here, it's also primered. I just have to flip it over and retape it. The sinks will probably take a little more time. It depends on what design I'm going to use for the sinks. Uh, the sinks. <coughs> but it's basically a lion's head with, a, uh, with wings. Make it look majestic or whatnot. Let me take these rings off because I see I already have paint on them. So let's put them over here. <laughs> And we're still going to work on the um, the Sylvia portrait. I got a very busy week, it looks like. And I have to lay some more music tracks down. Um, I have to do, uh, um, I have to play at um, same church, but the church has two locations. And I have to play at both locations. Uh, Thursday in Syracuse, Friday in Utica, I believe. Then service on Sunday in, in Utica. Uh, yeah, I believe it's in Utica, so I'll be pretty busy. Okay, so while that's doing that, let's, let's clean up some of this. Um, I guess I can aim the camera down a little more there. All right, let's, uh, let's clean some of this up. We'll get some cloud play going here, I guess. I gotta change my razor blade because it is rather dull. But that's to be expected, really. Uh, I'll clean up some of this too. This is just one of my vices just to clean it up. I thought I was gonna use some of that deep red. I may still, we'll see how it goes. We'll see. All right, let's get a little more titanium white. Titanium white here, a little touch of yellow. Let's see. Maybe a little touch of that ogre, we'll darken it up a little bit. I'm trying to remember. No, that was the other church from a couple of years ago. Yeah, I, uh, I think I know what you're talking about. I think that was some kind of anniversary or something. I think that was it. If my memory serves me correctly, and it usually does on a good day. All right, we'll start to, we'll start to put the clouds right in here. We'll just shape them up. Just like that, let it fade away, let it bounce away. Once again, we'll probably be doing this a few times, and that's okay. That actually helps. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pop one right up in here somewhere. Bit. 
to flesh up, flesh it all out. I don't want to wipe off too much. And if it happens, it's okay. You'll see, I get to correct all of this. So it doesn't doesn't matter at this at this point. Pop some on the top up here. Okay. Just like that, and we'll come out here and fade some of that out. gonna keep working at it keep working at it all up in here all those clouds up in here I'll come down here a little bit and we're gonna it's gonna be all faded and everything it's not gonna look the way it's starting to look start to look so don't get discouraged Okay, don't get nervous. Don't 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 panic. Hashtag don't panic. Oh yeah, we're gonna get that going. We're gonna get that face going. going in there. <laughs> you hear my dog snoring. All right, all right, all right. Right down on the bottom, we'll do one more. Uh, up around in here, right on the bottom there. Just like that. All right. All right. Very soft. Very soft. Bring some of that down a little bit. Circular motion. Smooth it out. The paint's not going to go nowhere, but you can still smooth out the edges. Get some of that roughness out of there. See, this is where painting layers come in. Okay. That's all. Just paint, paint, paint layers and layers. But you'll see. You guys, will, you'll, you'll see. Once again, do not panic. So this might be a two-part uh, video. It necessarily, absolutely has to be done today, so I can so I can totally dry and cure, and then I can put the resin on it. Actually, I'm gonna spray it first, and then I'll put the resin on it. Um, so once it's done, it's gonna be a pretty pretty solid uh, <laughs> um, job. So even when I put it in the dirt, it scratch the resin, but it shouldn't technically scratch the paint. But it's only a ceremonial thing, so you know. I'm not going to go full Hulk Hogan on, on, on it or anything. So, you know. All right. <clears throat> Let's go with a little more white. All right. And a slight touch of yellow. And we get the secondary color going on this clean off the brush I got the mix that I want more or less I used the soft brush here soft brushes oh 
Okay. And you guys know what kind of brush this is. There. This little soft guy right here. All right. Okay. All right, let's get to getting. We're going to go right for the tip of the brush. Show it to here. That's where we're going to put the paint at, right there. Just, just the tip of the brush. All right. Let's start over here. And what we're going to do is go on little circular motions, like so. Just start popping in some highlights. All right. And they're clouds, so they make a certain little gap. Come here. Whatever is dark, we can, with this opaque paint, we'll just cover that up. Just like this. And you keep at it. Once you got it covered up a little bit, don't go back over it again. Because you just wear the paint out. And I can just blend and fade some of these clouds in there. And remember, it's a yellow and white mix. I don't want total white as of yet. And very lightly, just fade it into that yellow. We got some right here. I can go in many different directions with it. And lightly blend right into the bottom. It's not hard to know where the Light sources, light sources right there. Okay. Dip a little more yellow, get a little more white. I'm gonna come over here, add some of that love in here like this. Come over here, add some of that there. Once again, I can just fade it away. And fade it in here. You see how it's starting to flesh out. You see how it's starting to look here. And you fade it in very lightly. You just build, you're building up your cloud layers. Okay. Join some in, fade some out. A lot of it's in the blending. Okay, but look at how it's starting to turn out here. It is simple blending. And make sure when you mix that yellow, get enough white in there. You still want it really to accentuate, accentuate the yellow first. All right, so everything is in layers. And with a makeup brush, you apply the paint like you apply the makeup to your face. Okay. I was thinking hypothetically because I don't uh, put makeup on my face. But you know what I'm talking about. You know, I don't want to go into a supermarket and, you know, say, see an article. Grayscale painting uses mascara. No, much like that. Okay, now there's some dark spots here, right? Wait for it to dry, pop it in there. All right. Remember this white that's mixed in there is very opaque. Very opaque. Once you cover those dark spots. Keep it moving and leave the dark spots alone once you cover them. We got some up in here. It's all right. Cover up the dark spots. Once you've covered it enough, leave it be. And once again, remember, you can always go back over it. Always go over it again. So it's okay. I'm going to go up the shaft with this paint. 
then we're gonna just continue it on. All right. I'm just fading the bottom down a little bit. All right, let's go up toward the shaft there. All right. No, no, no. The grunge look have never really caught hold to me. So, nope. Hey, Linda. Not, nah, not even eyeliner. We're gonna come up here toward the top, where you can't see it. There. So I'm over here toward the top here, and I'm just gonna get the illusion of some clouds here. Technically, I didn't have to go this far, but you know what? If you're going to paint a shovel, go all out and have, have some fun with it. Why not? All up in here. I keep going over that spot. It gets dark. But it's okay. All right. We're going to have to let that tack up a bit. got my customary towel here on the side of me. All right, let's get some more yellow. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what, Linda? Uh, yeah, I, 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 you know, you ever say something out your mouth and then it was just too late to get it back? That's one. That's one of these segments. Yep. That's one of these segments. For real. Basically, I'm painting in where, um, well, the, hi the highlight, because you know, when you paint the human face or a humanoid face, there's parts that um, obviously um, jut outward, like a, like a tube, all right? It's like an egg in a tube at the same time, if that makes any sense. And basically, that's what I'm doing. And the light source is different. And that's what you see me um, doing really right now. So essentially cheekbones. Okay. I'll be working with a slightly smaller brush in a second. Keep it like that for a minute. I'm gonna have to scrape away some of this paint because I have to let that dry. Technically, I should let some other stuff dry, but we can work our way around that. We're gonna get rid of this stuff. And we're going to highlight some of these clouds. 
So it kind of gives your eye something to follow the track. <laughs> I'm reading Linda's shameful comments. Okay, just pure titanium white. And we'll start around here. Right where it's the dark spots, we'll just slightly tap. Just like that, and just follow it around. It's almost like painting an um, exaggerated um, silver lining. Just like this. And remember, I got a soft brush, so I don't have to press too hard. Because we're considering where the light source is. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Blend it right in. I'm going to come in here. Slide in there. Okay. So you see how it's starting up. And you can make more clouds just by adding the white. See? Right. I don't know how much of this you guys see, but it really is just a little bit of white and you make your way around. Yeah. And right where you see little dark spots, you can kind of exaggerate and really pop it in there. Fade out that bottom edge, fade it out. see you see what it's starting to look like and you're just really building up those colors and I blend it blend in the rest fade it out like that And another thing, just have a, have a good time, have fun with it. And we're gonna still continue with uh, blending in. All right. Mm. Maybe something around here, kind of. Kind of, kind of. All right, a little more white, travel upward, up around here on the bottom. Go from the bottom and we're going upward. I got that in there, we'll cover some lead with the white. We'll go in here. Just block that out, blot it out a little bit like that and just fade around it. So we're fading in a different direction here. Okay. Oh, we'll pop some of that up here on the top. All right. Just like that. Up around in here, we'll do the edge come around here like that and fade it out from the top all right a little touch of 
much, all right? Don't need too much. Oh, there's pop-ups. A couple little, little things right in here. And fade upward. Instead of fading on the bottom, fade upward. Okay. Like that. Okay. All right. Let's get a touch of white. Right where this little dark spot is. Fade that in there. All right. I can probably leave the rest of this alone for right now. Hello, Gretchen. How are you? Yes, I'm painting a shovel. It's going to be a sunburst with a face in the sunburst. The shovel was already primed. So they want clouds in the sun on the bottom on the shovel. Then I'll flip it around and, uh, oops, I forgot up top. And small dab of white and it fades up a little faded across there like that. pop some of that wrap around in here a little bit have to come right off the handle there right off the top of the handle come down Just like that. All right. We'll concentrate on the sun's uh, face. We're going to get a little bit of the darker yellow. Just need a touch of it. And wherever I want to represent the shadow inside there, we're going to do it this way. Right up in here. up around in here when you do the human face or a humanoid face a lot of it's a lot light and sh shade okay Once you establish that, you build up around in there. Okay. Worry about the uh, the lines there. Hashtag don't panic. The lines were just done with my fingernail. Now, once you start putting the preceding color on, you go back over your brighter colors and accentuate that even more. It's really just a lot of blending and smoothing out of the colors. Okay. I don't necessarily need um, this brush. I can work with a smaller brush. All right. Okay, we'll get a little bit of yellow. A little touch. 
bunch of white in there. Put it right in here. Like I say, the sun's eyes will be closed. Okay. We'll make the middle part solid and we'll fade out the top. Keep it rounded, faded. Top there we just round it. Have it blend in with that darker yellow. But keep it rounded. And be careful because as the paint starts to dry, it's dry, it's really thin, it's easy for you to scratch it. Alright, so keep that in mind. Alright, keep it in mind. little rosy cheeks there. Right there. By the cliffs of what would be his chin. Remember, just try to keep everything rounded. All right. The top part of his lips will be darker than the bottom part. I could probably get that a little bit darker. We'll see. A second or two. Pure yellow down here. Just be careful. And you can always fine tune it later. Give it the opportunity to dry and whatever corrections, whatever you would like to do, you can do that a little bit later. to some more details um, with this guy as we move along here. A little blending up here. Because if you put a little too much somewhere, you can always reduce that with the darker colors, all right? All I was doing is blending in, okay? I'll take a, a finer brush and go over some other things. But you can clearly see there is a face there. Okay. I'm going to shade around oh, this part of the nose here. Add a little shadow there.
Get a small touch of white. If it's too bright, you can always go right back over that. I'm sorry, it faded on you. Um, you can always go back over that with a little bit of yellow. If you don't want it to be too bright. Oh, excuse my head, bringing out of focus a tad. But remember, white makes everything proceed. A darker color, even if it's yellow, will make everything recede or go backwards. Go back in color. All right, so same rule applies. Right here on the top. And basically, it's just a natural planes of the face. Even though, you know, it's not a, a human face, but still, nonetheless, still got planes. Okay. Once again, I'm going back over it with yellow. A little more, a little more detail. All right, let's take some uh, let's take some white. We'll start to separate. Let's get some pure white here. We'll start separating some of that in the clouds there, like that. Come on down. It's a little thicker than uh. than uh, when you call it um, silver linings, a little thicker than that. But it's just to help set the, the, the sun back there a little more, all right? But that's all I'm doing there. You come here. See, we can add stuff to get rid of some of that black line all up in here, cleverly hide some of that. So you give the acrylic a chance to dry and you can always go back over it to cover up any dark spots, anything that you don't really care for. You can always fade it and blend it, cover it up a little like that. Okay. <coughs> so hashtag don't panic. And you're just painting color on top of dried color. And you're just making it a little more intense, just brighter. All right. Smaller brush, a little more control. All up to you how bright you want certain areas to be. And just be careful because dried acrylic paint very thin and you can scratch it. So be mindful of that when you do these. Okay. All right. I 
think I'm going to use a liner brush. And we're gonna pop in a few details in there. I'll just get a little bit of water. Some yellow ochre. Just to fine tune some things. If I don't like something, I'll wipe it away real quick. I'm sorry if it blur if it blurs out on you. It's my fault. Trying to do it where it doesn't blur blur out too bad. Actually, it's a it's kind of a commission <clears throat> for a groundbreaking of an art space. And they were looking for a black artist and they couldn't find one. But the lady of a local radio show, radio station, the owner of the radio station, um, who I did the Christmas special for, she contacted me. And that's how this came about. And so this is the actual groundbreaking show. And so she wanted a sphinx on one side and she wants um, the sunburst for the face on the other. And so I'm doing the sunburst first. The Sphinx will be second. So that's how that come about with this. We're gonna do the sun rays after this. But as you can see, it is the sun. It's a representation of it. The sun's eyes are closed. All right. There's a little ridge on the lips that are a little bright. Okay, it's a thin ridge on the lips. It's probably the mailman. We all know the history of, of dogs and mailmen. Him a little happier, put a little grin on him there. Okay, all right, and we'll take a little bit, we'll pop it right here, that's a little brighter there. And I'm just getting rid of a little extra paint. All right, let's let it, um, we'll let it dry for a few minutes. I'm going to add some cute, clever little cloud things here to cover up some of that the dark areas um, where I sketched in. There we go. Very easy to cover all of that up. Just take some of that nice opaque white and just pop it in there. It'll look like little details or whatnot. As long as you can cleverly put it in there. Okay. You can always cover that up. I know I'm putting my head in the way. I'm, I'm so sorry when I do that. I, I apologize. A little brightness right here. 
So I'm sorry if it fades out on you when I put my cranium in, in the front there. Whoops, there it is, that's that scratch. See how easy you can scratch that? Okay, now if you encounter something like that, if you do that, all right, once again, hashtag don't panic. Just make it disappear. All right. Let it dry, go over it again, and then scratch it disappear. So don't, don't panic. Don't panic. Make it, make it go away. All right. Let it dry and go over it again. You'll never notice it's there. That's why you have to be careful. Once it fully dries, you can't scratch it. Okay. All right. Now I have to wait for it to dry, okay, um, and it won't take very long, and then we'll put the sun rays in there, but I have to wait for it to fully dry. If I was smart, I would spray it right now, okay. Now I really don't want to spray it here in the house, I'll just take it in the hallway, take some acrylic, um, some, some, um, some little gloss spray, and just spray the thing right now, just spray it immediately to protect this then add the sunburst and then spray it again so if i'm smart that's what i would really do but i cannot spray it uh, in the house because of the odor and the animals and me so um we'll just we'll just keep it at this for right now and I'll probably spray it in a few minutes, but I, I won't keep you guys waiting. I'll just shut it off and, and spray it. But what I should do as of right now, because it's not gonna make much of a difference, is that I'll just take a photo of it um, right now. Take a pretty decent photo of the shovel. There. So I need to just take a quick photo of the show. All right, who's this was bothering me? Get out of here. All right, let's put that back up there. All right. Okay. Um, I really want to show you guys how I would do the um, sunburst. I really do, but you know that that. I don't know if it's really worth the time to, to, to show you. Essentially, I would just start from the nose, take a piece of tape, and just do the sunburst through the clouds in different angles. Okay. And that's what it would look like. All right. So I'll probably show you online on um, Facebook. I just took a picture of it without the sunburst. And so what I'll do is I'll shut this off. Um spray this let it dry and then um i'll do the sunburst and i'll just show you a picture of what it looks like with the sunburst because as of right now i can't put tape or anything on it because it'll just peel away from the uh from the metal so i have to spray it to protect that the underlying paint do the sunburst spray that so so it's a little process all right But basically, as you can see, it's really the planes of the face, okay? Your forehead, pretty much the top of the forehead. It's got light on it, the nose, the light on it, the circles, you know, eyelids when closed, all right? Um, top part of the lip is darker. You got the little light that usually catches on the very top rim of the lip. Um, the bottom lip is brighter. Underneath, it's got the shadow. My cheekbones rather high or low, but just your cheekbones. Uh, but that's basically how you would do the skull. No matter if male, female, you all got the same structure of face. So that's what it looked like. All right. Okay. Um, you can see a little bit of his chin there, which is why I highlighted the clouds. It puts the sun, set it back a little bit, but you can, you can see the highlight of the clouds. All right. All right, I think I better leave this alone while the going is good. 
Um, I'm going to shut it off, spray this, tape it back up, do the, do the sun rays. I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to, um, I think I want to do with the Sphinx. Okay, because like I said, this will be done today. So after I do that, the Sphinx, uh, the Sphinx will be next. You guys, thank you for watching with me. I appreciate you. Um, be safe. You're working. Uh, be safe in general, especially in the regions where they got a lot of snow. We have been lucky. We don't have it. We got sunlight out. Uh, all of the snow is north and south of us. I live in a valley, so um, it, it overpasses us. Okay. So, but just outside the valley, yeah, they're getting belted with snow. So, all right, everybody. Thank you, Sonya and Kelly and Gretchen, all you guys, Madonna. Thank you very much. I shall see you guys when I see you. Thank you, Madonna. I'll see you guys when I see you. Uh, it'll probably be in a little bit. Until then, peace.